so welcome back to react series and in this episode we are going to create something like this whenever we click on this change message button message going to change and back to original so we can switch between these two messages so let's see how we can do that so i have this index.jx which is just empty so let's import react from react okay then we have to import react dom from react dom okay now we have to say react dom dot render and in this render method we are going to provide firstly the component so let's say our component is button so we will use btn okay then we have to say document dot get element by id and that should be root we have decided so everything is good but we don't have this button so let's create that so i am using the class form of creating the component so class btn extends extends what react dot component then we have to firstly create the constructor so constructor which accept props and we have to define the super method so that props will be available everywhere okay then this dot state is equal to some object we will create some state later okay then we have to create a render method which is going to return the button so i will say button and this button says change the message okay and let's see how it's look like so i will go and open the server so we have to say n we have to say npm run start and it's going to start the server and now we have some problems so we have to fix this because this curly braces will not come here so save this file and yeah we have this change the message button here so if i zoom it yeah it is so that's good but what i want i want a message just below this so what i can say like this so i can do like this so curly braces start then a div not curly braces parenthesis start then a div then let's move this button inside and after that what i want i want a h1 tag which will say this is first message okay save this file and now it's having some problem yeah because we have to move this here okay yeah so this is first message that's good but what i want i want to click this button and then change the message so i will say on click and let's create this dot handle click so we have to create that method so i will say handle click is a function arrow function using we are and now here i will say something like change the message so i will just alert changing message okay save this file and click here and yes we are getting this message that's very nice so now what we need we need to create a component which has two type of messages so let's move this h1 tag from here to an external function which will be a message because it's going to be our uh, component so i will return return this message but we have to do something else so i will say props and here i will say if props 
dot value is true then I'm going to return this one okay and else I'm going to return another message which says I am from second message okay so we have to render that message so I will here say message but we have to give some prop so I will say value is equal to should be like this dot state dot value and we have not defined that value part here on the state so give a state value as true so what is going on here I have created a class of BTN that is a component we have then created a render method which is going to return this thing that means the button and the message but here this message is also a component which is a function this and here we are passing the value as predefined true so now because it is true so props value will be true and the first message is going to print then we want whenever we click on the button the prop value will become false so I have to say here this dot set state dot not dot parenthesis then curly braces then value is equal to not of this dot state dot value I think this is good so save this file go and yeah we don't have to use this okay everything is good and let's click on change the message and yes I'm from second message and again change yes this is very cool and it's great so we have created something like this so let's again recap all what we have done so we have created a button component btn and then in the btn that should be a class type of component okay which is having a constructor which is having the super passing the props but important thing is we have created a state having a variable called value and its value is true okay then we have a render method and in which we are returning something what we are returning we are returning a button button which says change the message and we also having an another component called message which is here message is having a prop and prop value if it is true then it's going to render this one otherwise it's going to render this one and we are passing the state value which is true for now into the message component then whenever we click on the button called change the message we are having this function which is going to change or set the state to the opposite of whatever the value is so that's why we are having this kind of system clicking and changing this thing so now let's move everything on the github so I will go and say git status yeah that's good so git add dot that means git add all git status everything is good then git commit with the m flag which says changing message event okay that's good then git push and everything is will be on github so i will say github oh it's not like this github.com slash bitfume slash react tutorials and let's see yeah everything is pushed seven commits and it is here so if you want if you are on another video or episode just click here you will get the source code for that particular episode in the index.js file like this okay so so i think you like this episode and don't forget to share like bit fumes on facebook twitter and instagram and obviously don't forget to subscribe so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye